Hi, I'm Ryan from Ryan's Guitar Stuff, and today's video is the Les Paul Jr. Uh, not Jr. I'm in the middle of building the Jr. and it's preoccupying me. And this is a Les Paul Classic, it's a 1960s copy, and yeah, it's a lovely guitar. So, um, and as you can see there, it is a Gibson. And I'm not showing the serial code for obvious reasons, but it's a lovely guitar. So, real quick, um, specs on this is it's mahogany body. With a plain maple top. There's actually a few bits of bird's eye in the top and all. It's a lovely top on it. It is a two piece body, by the looks of it. Yeah. Yeah, two piece. It's down by the strap button there. And yeah, it's a lovely guitar. Nice neck profile too. It's not your real, real thick, chunky 50s profile. But it's like your modern, um, it's like your slim 60s style profile. Which makes sense given the it's a classic and it's a sixty. It has your nibs on it, which feel really really nice to the hand. They're not not pokey, but what that's it. They're not pokey. It feels real nice to the hand. So I've got the Hughes and Kettner water hooked up now, and I'm going through the Jet City two by twelve behind me, and um, captured into the camera. Uh, yeah, I'll show you what this sounds like. I'm tuning the standards and yeah, let's go. Oh, there's nothing in front of the amp as well. It plays lovely, has a nice neck to it. The bridge pickup's really hot and really. It's really nice, real pokey. Uh, I'm gonna switch over to the gain side just for a bit more dirt, and yeah, then that should be it technically.
wow, that's really, really close. Um, that's kind of my Les Paul demo tone for like seeing how close it gets to Parisian, just from my own curiosity. And this one gets pretty damn close, so. Yeah, it's a lovely Les Paul, and yeah. So, there's been a Les Paul Classics. It's a 1960s style one, and it's from 2004. So yeah, I've been around for Ryan Guitar stuff and Seasnixon. Bye.